Hey what's up guys this is Sayed Musa Kaleem from Epicop and today I'm gonna show you how you can easily deal with your database using EZSQL so before we dive in I would like to walk you through about the EZSQL so this is these are the files which you need to download if you want to get started with EZSQL but before downloading this I would like to give you a quick introduction of EZSQL uh, this is the website justinvincent.com slash ezsql and there is a description or the introduction of ezsql given here ezsql is a open source php database library or a class and it has been used on over 100,000 websites and it is the backbone of many open source projects such as wordpress this class makes it ridiculous, ridiculously easy to use MySQL, Oracle 8, SQLite, etc. within your PHP script. So, hope you understand about the EZSQL. This provides you the bunch of features so that you can easily deal with your database. So, now we'll dive in and we'll see how we can get started with EZSQL. So, EZSQL is a is hosted uh, it is provided on github there from there you can install all files all the necessary files of ezsql uh, the link is given here github.com slash ezsql slash ezsql so this is the link you can use this link to download all these necessary files if you really want to get started with ezsql so th there is an option here clone or download uh, I have downloaded on my PC uh, if you need to download if you want to download then you can click this button so these are this is the structure of EZSQL I have installed on my local host I'll show you what are the necessary files in EZSQL open this client script this this is my project called client, client script and inside this I have different folders and I have created one folder called libs libraries and inside this I have I have taken five files five PHP files and the two files are ezsql files ezsql core.php ezsql mysqli.php these two files are really really important for ezsql if you want to get started with ezsql then you need to keep these two files safe in your project directory so these are the two files and this is the simple html dom uh, i have taken this file for doing web scraping and these are the two custom files which i have created for giving database connections or database usernames and passwords so these are the two files you need you need to save in your project directory either sql core.php and is sql mysqli.php so we'll see one example how you can use is sql in your web project so this is one file called coachingjson.php inside this i have included all files here you can see here include config.php inside this config I have given my database configurations you can see here database user root as this is the local host and the password is set to null and my database name is client script and it is hosted on the local host so this is the config.php and another file is db.php inside this I have provided two files that is ezsql core and ezsql ezsql mysqli this these are the two files which i have provided in db.php so these are the two files these are the two important files for ezsql so these two files config.php and db.php i have included in this coachingjson.php and I have also used simple HTML DOM for web scraping and I have set the maximum execution time of this script to 900 
and as you can see here after including these two files db.php and config.php you need to give your connection variable connect db and your database name my database name is client script as you can see here I have my database open client script inside client script I have two different tables one is new client data and the next the last one is wellness dir so I am dealing with this table wellness dir and I have some data in this table so I want here I want this data to be printed in a JSON format using this script so later I'll show you how you can call data from that table and how you can print in a JSON format for now I'm showing you how you can connect your connect to your database using ezsql so after including these two files you need to give connect db and your database name and I'm taking one variable called results inside this result I'm I'm calling get results function in the database db variable you can see here this is the global variable for ezsql db if you are using EZ, ezsql in your web projects then this variable is very important as you you need to fetch as you as if you want to fetch or if you want to retrieve data from your database tables then you need to use this variable global variable of ezsql db and i'm calling get results select urls from wellness dir where status equals to completed i have given this query inside this get results and i am taking one array called websites inside that array i am getting those all values from wellness dir and i am printing these values in a json format just using json encode function so let's hop to the browser and let's click this file coaching json.php as you can see here these these for this data is is in a json format you can see here these these are the urls which i have in my database table this is the these are the urls and i have printed in a json format so using J ezsql i have fetched all data from the table and i have printed in a json format so there is another way of debugging your database issues or your database errors in ezsql is db debug there is a way to debug database errors in ezsql and this is the most popular method of debugging database issues in ezsql you can see here i have all 31 rows in db.debug this shows the entire table of your fetch data so this is the data which i am trying to fetch from the table so this is all about ezsql hope you understand about ezsql and please don't forget to subscribe my channel share my videos like my videos thanks for watching this video i'll see you in the next video